Hello everyone, I hope you are doing good and in this video we are going to talk about how we can achieve a real time bank statement in Google Sheet or Excel. So for the purpose of this video, I am using Google Sheet because the uh, the problem statement or the solution which I provided to the entity was using the Google Workspace rather than the Microsoft environment. But you can achieve similar uh, what we have achieved in this video with the help of VBA, right? Uh, so what is the problem statement? Let's understand that first. So here is a proprietorship and uh, the mainly the proprietorship is into providing the cricket coaching services okay and the there is a one person from the finance the rules and responsibility of this person is to download the bank statement from a daily basis and review the specifically debits which has been made uh, from the bank account and perform the bank reconciliation but um, either many of the time the person don't have access to bank uh, portal or the person don't want to log in to the bank portal and download the statement in excel right so what the person want is basically have a some kind of excel or google sheet uh, and that sheet will be real time in nature so what i mean by real time is that as and when there is a debit right which has been made from that bank account that will get updated in the google sheet right okay so the main problem we have understood that the person don't have access to the bank account or they don't want to log into bank account but still they want the bank statement which is real time in nature in the google sheet or excel the key important factor which is might be the advantage for the finance person is that the person has an access to gmail account which is attached to the bank account so Whenever there is a debit which has been made from the bank account, there will be notification or the email coming from the bank saying that at this date for this particular this amount has been debited. Now that is a very key point because we are using the Google Apps script to use that as a leverage. Okay, so what I will do is that I will just show you the Google Apps script which I have made. Uh, so basically this is the email which we are talking about as you can see this is the email which is attached to the bank account as you can see the first email is coming from the alerts and access bank and there is a debit notification from the access bank okay uh, this is the sheet basically as you can see at the top we have four columns one is a serial number second one is a date third one is particulars and amount okay and what i want to do is that as soon as there is a debit which has been made from the bank account firstly the notification will come in the gmail and then that will get punched or printed in this sheet okay so what i did is that i developed a google app script right so i will just show you the google app script now this is the google app script right okay so what the process actually the app script is running is that first of all it is filtering out the emails which i need so there are three filters which has been applied if i open this uh, email right first filter as you can see is that it has to be unread this is very important filter because i don't want to uh, again uh, you know punch the uh, emails which has already punched so first filter is that that email has to be fresh that email has to be the latest that can be achieved to checking whether the email has been read or unread second filter is that the sender has to be alerts at the red accessbank.com and the third filter is that the subject should be debit notification from the access bank right in the first statement we have applied these filters and through this uh, three filters we are you know trenching or uh, reducing the number of the emails right then what we are doing is that we are scrapping three things as you can see there are three columns one is a date uh, one is a particulars and one is an amount so as you can see in this email i'm scrapping the first of all date then the particulars which is here and then the amount okay so that you can see in this so here is something which uh, we are extracting the first of all date the amount and then we are also scrapping the information or the particulars for which it has been debited right and then once this has been done it is sending it back to the google sheet and it is printing it or punching it okay and very important last step is that making that email as read so that whenever next time this script will run it will treat or it will skip the read emails and there will be no issue of duplicate punching in that google sheet okay okay now to automate way further this what i did is that uh, every time again when i the finance person go to uh, this sheet and then they need to go to the app script and then they need to run right but you can avoid this by using a trigger which google offers so as you can see here there is a trigger now this is the trigger which has been there and if i show you the time schedule it is based on time and it in an hour timer so every four hours this trigger will run so 
I don't need to exclusively press the run button even if my laptop is off even if there is any payment which has been debited from my bank account at 12 am in the night where I am sleeping this will get real time updated right and you don't need to access any bank portal you need to you don't need to any download any excel this is something which is real time in nature the only key thing is that you must be having an access to the email account which is attached to the bank and that email account must be receiving the debit notification that is a very important because unless i am getting any kind of debit notification i will not be able to you know search that in the email and that will not get punched in this google sheet okay so what i'm going to do is that i'm just uh, going back and just uh, okay so the last entry which was at 180 and it was 5000 that i think um, it's something here as you can see here it's of 22nd July 5000. I hope this is matching. Yeah, 25000. And there is one more debit which has been made. Okay, as you can see, the latest debit is on today, which is 27 July at uh, 200 rupees and at 954. Okay, so what I'm going to do is that very important. I need to mark this as 100. Otherwise, this whenever I will run this script, this will get skipped. And then uh, I know that this will get punched in this by every 4 hour but just for the purpose of showing you that I will just run this uh, script okay so now this is the script which has been there I'm just clicking on run and as you can see execution has been started and execution is completed it's very fast it usually takes less than one second if I you know search in the project or history it has run for quite a few times it has run for almost 40 times uh, during last week now going back to my uh, sheet as you can see the last record was 180 now it has punched 181 27 july and this was the 200 payment right right now the problem statement included only debit amounts to be tracked but you can achieve something similar in credit as well and you can kind of develop the real-time bank statement as well so this was very pretty helpful i thought uh, sharing this with the community so that uh, this is very uh, very interesting because you don't need to again as i mentioned earlier download the bank statement and going to your uh, uh, you know avoiding those tasks of uh, manually logging into the bank portal and reviewing it uh, you get it real time basis and that is pretty interesting right so i hope this uh, video finds you uh, very helpful if you have any kind of queries or any kind of clarifications let me know in the comment sections and please like this video and share with your friends so thank you so much have a good day. Bye-bye.